My name is Chris. So what else do you need to know? Stuff about my family or where I'm from? None of that matters. Not once you cross the ocean and cut yourself loose. Looking for something more beautiful, something more exciting. And yes, I admit, something more dangerous. Um. So after 21 days at sea, six cases of top ramen, 52 beers, three bottles of rum, and no sleep, ah! I finally touched down in the Bahamas. Gateway to the Caribbean. And this is it. Paradise. Um, Sunsets and pina coladas. Gateway to the Lesser Antilles. Where sailboats and dreams come to die. Where nightmares come true. Um, where dreams become reality. So never refuse an invitation. Never resist the unfamiliar. Um, never fail to be polite. Um, and never outstay your welcome. Um, so buy the ticket. Take the ride. Uh, Carry away your sins to whatever it is that you call paradise. For me, I still believe in paradise. I just know it's not some place you can look for. Because it's not the destination that matters. Um, it's the journey. And how you felt for a moment in that journey.
Could you not hear me? Really? You guys being serious? How about now? Well, I'm glad I just uh, had a great conversation by myself and none of you guys could hear me. That's awesome. Excuse me. That's great. Had a whole conversation by myself. Well, Wes, good to see you. Sorry you're leaving so soon. KB, what's up? Greg, how's it going? Ozone, good to see you. Father Tech, tanks, pump up the jam. Pump it up while your feet are pumping. You didn't hear? You didn't hear the intro music either? What? No way. You couldn't... The intro? You couldn't hear the... You're telling me you can't hear this? You don't hear the... My name is Chris. Intro right here? So what else do you need to know? Stuff about my family or where I'm from? None of that matters. But for no, real, can you hear the intro or no? Cut yourself loose. Looking for something more beautiful. Or something more exciting. People I guess say that admit. shit. Something more dangerous. Yeah. Um. So after 21 days at sea, six. You say you can't hear the intro, but everybody else can hear it. Don't say that shit. That's making me think my whole stream's messed up, man. Irritating. Yeah, don't do that shit. Like 85. Well, yeah, then say, say you missed it. Don't say you were there and you couldn't hear it. Then I think I have 900 things wrong with my stream. And 85 things to check. Unbelievable, tanks. Not in the mood today. I'm not in the mood today. We're going to check in with little Chris. Chris here. Now, if my calculations are correct, he is out here somewhere. Then say you didn't catch the intro. Don't say there's a problem with my sound, tanks. My 5K. See, everybody thinks that's a lot of money. That's not. <laughs> that's 5K for uh, September, October, November for four months. <laughs> that doesn't even cover my rent. Bobby G, what's up, my man? Let's give Chris a ring. Give me a second. Am I the only person that's always on time? I tell you five o'clock, it's 4.54. That means answer the phone. So now we're just waiting on Chris. Then we'll check in with him. So I'll chat with you guys. Exactly, that's what I'm saying, man. Anytime I start. And it's like, as soon as I start streaming, my members feel like everybody in the members area wants to send me 800 messages. Middle of a live stream. What? Why? Anywho, here we are. Check out the old beach where we're waiting. Let me take off. Let's 
image. Chris is calling. <laughs> auto correct is so complete shit. <laughs> so we should have uh, audio now. I'm just waiting on my chat to let me know. Chat, can you hear me? Only oh, if I have the camera. <laughs> Perfect. All right, Chris, we're rolling. Uh, as long as I don't have an echo, which I shouldn't, but like it'll default sometimes to like, I don't know, one of my 9 million mics and uh, go from there. Nice engine. All right, my man. So you're off the coast of Key Weird. Uh, you got lost for a few days on the island, drinking heavily. And here we are. I'm just making up stuff. Can you hear me? Are you there, man? I got nothing from you. You got nothing. Hmm. Hold on. Somebody's always got uh, something here. 
about now? Gotcha. All right. Yeah, loud and clear. Now I just got to check one more time, make sure I don't have an echo with my stream. We should be good. <laughs> I'm going to cut enough. my right foot off pretty soon. <laughs> No echo. All right, we're good. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate that. No Sweet. Uh, all right. How's it going, my man? Um, a lot better than it has been. <laughs> a whole lot better. That's I'm good. Just stumbling on a trash bag right now. But uh, yeah. Um, I, I got a fuel polishing set up in here. I ran out a decent, almost a gallon of fuel, um, a couple different times, checking and rechecking and um. Troy suggested uh, a, uh, what was it? What was it? The, I can't remember what it's called now. Biocide, a diesel biocide, yeah, which yeah. like breaks up the algae that's obviously formed in there. Um, hang on one second. My phone's. All right. Give, give me one no, second. Cool. I have to, uh, give me one second. All right, we're good. Cool. So, so I put together the fuel polishing setup in here, which I'm still going to move this back so that I can reattach the engine cover wall. Um, the whole panel comes off pretty fairly easily, actually. Um, but I ended up getting all sorts of extra Man. filters, uh, sealers, everything. Yeah. What a lot. Um, that was a lot of work, man. A lot of dude, work. Dude, it has been. <laughs> I figured you were That's just partying, being a drunk mess in Key West. Well, I, there was a little of that, but I, I had to wake yeah. up every morning early as shit and try to get things done still. Yeah. Chase around my damn tail. So what did you determine has caused you all these issues? Is it just a lack of the engine being used and a bunch of stuff built up in the fuel tank, or... It really is. That, that's literally it. Um, had I maybe thought I had and treated it before, then it would have been in a lot better condition. Um, I've had to readjust the fuel return setup. Um, I kind of remanufactured or refit, I guess, um, several different pieces into one to make the system work. Um, to return to the fuel tank. Yeah. Um, but our fuel polishers are nicely operational. Um, I just got to kind of tuck things away this evening. Um, had a problem with not starting. So, like, for instance, if you're working with a grinder or something and you just put it to too damn much work, it's going to pop out a little reset button for you. Apparently, this is equipped with a little reset button. And so whenever I got to a point that I was... Um, what was I doing? I was reattaching the return line. Um, I arced the wrench on the back of the alternator <laughs> right over there. Nice. Oh my God, dude. And so all of a sudden I had no power to anything. Um, so then I got to dive into the entire electrical system. Um, it was pretty interesting in itself. Um, and so but I found that nothing was wrong with it. <laughs> And that I had to find this little reset switch. Nice, man. Nice. I have yeah. to. Uh, I have to fix uh, my audio. They say that I'm quiet, so I sound absurdly loud in my head, though. <laughs> like. Let's see what we got. The thing is. Uh, input volume. Input sense. Activity. What is going on here? Testing, testing, testing. Hey. I think this isn't even. Hmm. Just working fine. Just the other day. Now not so much. Am I still quiet? Stream? Is it still super quiet? Sounds like it's blaring in my ears stream
Is it still super quiet though? Anyone in stream? A little lower. It's probably... All right, Chris, give us a What's tour. Up? Where are we at a here? A tour! Right now, we're looking back at the helm, or I was sitting at the helm, sitting on fenders. Mm -hmm. um, they've become pretty much the best seats in the house. It happens. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. Um, so, from there, let's see if I can't get a little wider here. We've got the helm itself. Hey... Nicely organized locker now because while I was out getting supplies today, Greg took it upon himself to do that. Awesome. That was nice of him. I know, right? So we weren't just screwing around while you're gone. Uh, uh, man, these debatable. shades just kill the game. You know, you know, it's questionable at least. Debatable, <laughs> for <laughs> sure. Um, we we did empty our jerry cans into the tank and treated everything. Um, that way we could get further up the sides of the fuel tank itself with uh, treated fuel um, we will be filling up first thing in the morning as we head out of here I verified with the marina that we can get in and nice. get access and water and everything so didn't have to, to go dingy back and forth all day long that's a plus yeah it was quite nice um, we are going to be working on a little bit more organizing and some reef lines um, add at least a second reef because I put a first reef in due to the uh, tack being a little bit torn at the corner there. Yeah. And so we've been running, uh, what, 80% sail or so. Um, Greg's starting to work on that right now, it looks like. And we've got a really cool uh, zipper set up where we can just pull from down below. And it runs itself all the way out. On a pulley. <laughs> we'll see about that zipper thing. I like it. Yeah, it's, we'll it's worked see, uh... for uh, the previous owners and us about five oh. times now. Well, that's five. <laughs> five's better than none, so that's good. Yeah, I've what's... gotten five uses, which means the... it's probably going to break on me soon. True. What's the view <laughs> around you? The view around me, I got Fleming Island, or Fleming Key, right over here, along with the... Um, Naval Station, and about 200 sailboats in the mooring field. Yeah, buddy. Welcome to Key West. Indeed. There you go. It looks nice, though. Nice weather. Yeah. It's it's really nice out today. They said we were going to get some thunderstorms this morning, but they lied. You know how they are. Well, usually in <laughs> Florida, you'll just get thunderstorms every day. So all they have to do is <laughs> say, likely chance of thunderstorms. They'll be right 95% <laughs> of the time. Nice. This guy right over here in that catamaran mm -hmm. um, was the guy that has really saved our ass this whole time. Um, he, he came through with the dinghy use. Um, we just kind of been going back and forth with him, and it's worked out really well. Hung out with him last night, tied one on, cooked some chicken and such. It was good. Yeah. Um, met some other guy out here that is I believe in this Chris Craft out that way or somewhere over there and uh he said hey man you guys want some free boats I got three free boats over here in salvage they're they need all, they all need a lot of work but you got a free boat holy shit man so I guess if you hang out long enough and talk to the right people you might be able to score something that barely floats oh and the <laughs> keys you can always get a boat yeah yeah people give them away all the time see that right on just can't handle it anymore. Well, everybody just lets them rot. It's too expensive down there, and people don't realize Yeah. That. Yeah, everything's uh, expensive down here. At least 20% higher. Oh. <laughs> you can't even rent a one-bedroom there for less than, like... You can't even rent a room in someone else's apartment for less than, like, 1400 bucks a month. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
someone, yeah, one of the locals was talking about a uh, studio apartment was, I think it was like 2800 or something like that. It was ridiculous, though. Just nothing that you yeah, really want to get into just for sitting here, basically. But overall, you could be in this mooring field for 600 a month. And I don't know, there's several people here. There's a couple different YouTube channel people that are hanging out that kept to themselves, really, whenever <laughs> we were around them. But uh, Samuel noticed one of them. That was kind of cool. Who was it? Do you know? Uh, Expedition Evans just went by with their two dogs. Uh, he said... He called him out. <laughs> yeah, so. a lot of YouTubers are so far behind on their content. Yeah. That uh, when they see other people that recognize them, they try to hide. Because they're, <laughs> trying, they're trying to present it to their audience as if they're current. And like yeah. Evans, if you just saw Evans in Key West, their last episode, they're up in the Bahamas. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. And that was a month ago, probably. <laughs> oh, like... Four months ago. Uh, Four months ago. They're so far behind their content. Uh, so a lot gotcha. of channels will do that. They'll just try to hide from you. Gotcha. Uh, which is like, what? <laughs> We're live. Uh, there's no hiding. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> it's it's nice, though. Key West is really nice uh, for the sake of a vacation spot and just a place to be, I guess. Um, but you're not going to last very long if if you're not very active here. <laughs> yeah, no. You drink yourself it's into a... a hole and stuff, too. <laughs> yeah. Not the uh, greatest. You see, see a bunch think... that probably gave up. <laughs> oh, that whole marina is full of people that gave up. Um, <laughs> so you're going to leave? You're gonna try to leave tomorrow? Yeah. Yep. Uh, we're just buttoning up tonight. I went and reprovisioned today. Um, another few hundred dollars in groceries and different things and um try to button everything up get that reef in and check it all out so head what's out your, in the morning what's your sailing plan for tomorrow um go out start uh overnight toward clearwater um it's our straightest uh most coastal route we want to make sure that we're somewhat coastal so that in case anything goes down we can do something about it yeah and we don't have a dinghy motor right now. I got to get an ignition coil. So of all the things that I could get here, I couldn't get a small motor ignition coil anywhere on these islands. So you're gonna try to do like a two or three day sail to uh, Clearwater? Yeah, yeah. So um, what was it? It was like 280 miles, I think. So some people or, on stream want you to go over your fuel polishing system and how you set it up if you don't mind for sure it's not going to be the minds want to know <laughs> i don't have a ladder in right now so i'm just kind of hopping in and out um so i got these little guys um for i, I got a basically an entire backup fuel system um basically uh like one of the above deck six gallon tanks with a pump hand pump Oh, here it is right here. Yeah. And um, so I got that whole thing just in case whatever it was didn't work out. Um, came with lines and basically everything that I would need. But for the actual fuel polishing setup, I used fuel water separators. And I've got a 2 micron and a 10 micron. Um, I filled them and swapped the filters after I ran the test gallons out. Um, little electric fuel pump routed right down. Um, it's not a high pressure pump on the engine. It's a three cylinder Westerbeek diesel. Um, and just having the 10 and two micron in there and the filter that is attached to the motor, which is one of these. Nice. Or you couldn't even hardly see the ribs. It was trash. Right. Wow. Oh, yeah. It was awful. There's no flow. Um, and then the fuel return, when the reason I had to even mess with it at all was because when it was not repaired last, um, they just kind of tightened it up as much as they could. They had a really short banjo bolt 
Um, problem finding everything was that it's a double banjo bolt and it's got a shoulder on it that you're pretty much not going to find anywhere. I looked through the Westerbeek shop. They let me in the back of the shop uh, after I kind of convinced them that I was going to tear up their yeah. shop and I sort of somewhat know what I'm doing there. <laughs> Um, and they let me just dig through the bolt bins and basically the entire shop. Uh, I managed to find a longer um, outer banjo bolt. And that was long enough to just catch some threads with the right size copper gaskets. The copper gaskets that were on it, the ones that did exist still, mm -hmm. were smashed badly. They were crushed. Uh, someone, he obviously tried to Tighten it down as much as he could, and it just didn't work out. So Felt are a you? Little leg over. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so are. My little girl hit me with a box of Legos or a bag of Legos. <laughs> What's so are, that? What do you are you going to be running from your fuel tank, or are you going to try to do it from a jerry can? Oh, uh, we are running from the fuel tank. Oh no! Nice. Uh, I took it out and spent this morning. Uh, the throttle's all the way up. It's it, it runs out. It's it's great. And then a three hundred ish nautical mile sail to Clearwater, huh? Yep. Nice. So Clearwater, and then likely Panama City or Pensacola. I haven't quite decided yet. And then I think that's going to really be based on the exit route and which one leads to Texas the best. Mm -hmm. But essentially, they're about the same. Uh, it's just going to be another day or two to Pensacola versus uh, Panama City. Yeah. I Are mean, you guys like being blinded with this light behind me? Well, you know, it's all good. backlighting your face is never a good idea. Well, I'm trying not to, and it's just not no. working the greatest. The sun's pretty saturating here. <laughs> yeah, I bet you're roasting being down there. Oh, no yeah. AC. And people are like, oh, just stay in the mooring field. A breeze. I'm like, yeah. my ass. You will breeze roast nothing. down there. This is the only breeze that we've got. <laughs> yeah, that's rough, man. Uh, Man-made breeze around here. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've got... I mean, probably... I mean... As straight as you can go, you're about 900 nautical miles. Add sailing into that. You're probably 1,400 nautical miles, I bet. What's your route show yet? Do you know? Um, I, It's on my if phone. You know, I don't have to pull it up there. Yeah. yeah. So you're no, somewhere in particular. there. 12 I was around 1,000 nautical last time I checked, I think. Yeah. Well, hopefully you guys don't have to stop in clear water. Yeah. You know? Hopefully we, if it's all going right and we can... Just keep our rolling. Uh, Samuel might run off there. He's not sure, but kind of played it by ear. Oh, you're going to lose, lose a, lose a crew lips. member? Yeah, I think so. I'm sure At there's some point. people in <laughs> chat that uh, live in Florida would hop on your boat with you. Mm, hit me up on that. Group. because I could very much use night watch help and just another crewman. I'm sure there's somebody in chat that's in Florida. West coast of Florida somewhere. Ooh, Want to go for a sale? Anybody, anybody. <laughs> anybody. Going once, going <laughs> twice. Uh, <laughs> Robert said sometimes banjo bolts are uh, at the Napa auto parts store. Yeah. Uh, uh, it was just a problem having the, the shoulder on this one. Um, and then the length that I needed, uh, no one had in stock. CarQuest was pretty instrumental in, in all of this, though. And uh, the guy gave me a ride from really? Stock Island back, so that was cool. That was nice of him, man. Yeah. Stock Island's a pain to get to, isn't it? Dude, yeah. It's not even far, <laughs> and it's a nightmare It's like to get just there. over the bridge. You it's, can just, like, almost see it. And then you start walking, and you're like, I want to die. <laughs> yeah, it's too hot, man. You can't be walking there. <laughs> Um, like it's 1.2 miles. The next time I look down at my phone, it says one mile. All right, yeah, get an Uber. No. You make no <laughs> progress there, man. It's horrid. Man, uh, and I will walk and walk and walk and run some miles and things, but this doing work and everything else in the midst of it, like I didn't want to do any of that. Yeah, no kidding. I'm gonna, I'm checking your wind right now. It'll be better than it was. That's for sure. Yeah. 
it's looking like uh, we should have over 10 knots um, pretty consistently and fair winds on the way up. So hopefully we'll just be running full sail. Mm. That'd be really nice. Up the Gulf Coast of Florida, huh? Man. Indeed. Well, at least you got the boat problems figured out. And it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't anything major. An absolute nightmare for sure. Yeah. But at least yeah, it wasn't it was... uh, anything major. Yeah. It. I think really everything that, just not having the dinghy motor really added to everything pretty heavily. Um, yeah, that once, once that thing blew out, it was just full-on headache and and trying to get anywhere was impossible for all the way out the edge of the mooring field yeah that's hard, uh first man. night out yeah first night out we paddled out it took about an hour hour and change um but it was 3 a.m and pretty miserable yeah it'll uh well are you gonna be sad to see key west go what's that your oil oh yeah how thick was that it looks like it Dude. might be tar. Yeah. Wow. Seems excessive. And it just sticks. <laughs> wow. Part of that was new also. Probably a quarter of it's new. Um, this was our automatic transmission fluid. In case anyone knows, this is supposed <laughs> to be really pink. Like, as pink as the diesel. Mm -hmm. Oh, where's the diesel? Yeah, as pink as the diesel, easily. Um, it's not at all. Uh, it's a little different. Yeah, it is now though. Um, I, I swapped all the fluids, everything. I got new coolant, new transmission fluid. Um, uh, I burped the coolant system, make sure that we didn't have any problems there, overheating or anything randomly. There you go. What else? What else? I worked on the water, uh, maker a little bit, I believe. This filter needs changed and I've got several in the back here. I just need to swap her out. Did you bring um, extra fluids by chance? Um, I have extra now. Uh, they're just, and actually there was coolant in here. That was the only fluid that I didn't have. All right, I take that back. I didn't have transmission fluid either, <laughs> but I've got it all now. <laughs> you know, the reason I'm asking is because, because it was so, let's see, because it probably had sat for so long or whatever the case may be. My guess yeah. is you might have to do a like a full swap again somewhere for uh, like tranny fluid, maybe your oil, uh, yeah. somewhere along your route. I do have a pump, and that was instrumental. <laughs> Pretty well can't get that job done without it. Actually, yeah, the uh, place gave me another fitting for that banjo bolt also but what i needed was uh, a through fitting so one that had a line on each end yeah and so kind of put a damper but i ended up reusing the one that we have and i puttied it up and it's nice and nice and secured now because the reason i puttied it was because this thing leans right on it and that's the exhaust cooling tube uh, maybe not exhaust, hmm. but that's a cooling line. And it was rubbing up against it and pressing. Um, I think what he had done before was actually just put a piece of rubber in there between those to keep the banjo bolt pressed against the return line so that it wouldn't... Really? Be... Yeah. Wow. yeah. That seems expensive. So I go to... Oh, my God. <laughs> Man, so I go to crack the lines um, up at the top, and as soon as I just touched it, it, like, crumbled to pieces and shit. It was a disaster. Wow, dude. But we got it all done, man. Not that bad. I learned a little bit about it. <laughs> yeah. Learned a lot about Key West. <laughs> Good old Key West. Good old Key West, he says. <laughs> Sounds like it's your favorite town. Oh, I hate that whole island. <laughs> I hate that it's an absolute dump. Uh, it's overpriced garbage, man. And there's just, as you see, there's sailboats everywhere, and 99% of them are just trash dumpsters. Oh my gosh, yeah. There's, there's, and that's that's why everybody's junker. like, oh, I got some free boats, because they're trash, man. They all do that. Just come get it. Yeah, because everybody uh, goes down there, and then they realize how expensive it is to rent a place. 
what they do yeah. is they buy a cheap sailboat, they throw it on the mooring ball, and then out there they rot. Like, I was there during Hurricane <laughs> Irma. There was, like, 400 boats before the storm and, like, three left after the storm. It just wiped them all out. No way. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Good times, dude. <laughs> Always fun. So what's, your, these, uh, what's your plan tonight? Are you going to shore, have a couple beers, and get ready for tomorrow? Man, we went to... Uh, uh thai island yeah that's a Sushi good restaurant, yeah. bar. oh my god they killed it absolutely phenomenal i sent my wife a picture to make her super jealous yeah <laughs> she called real fast jealous <laughs> mm -hmm. but yeah we well, just got done eating over there it's a great place and, to uh, go as a tourist you know yeah. um but like when you live there it's like meh screw this place man uh, I don't know about all this mess. <laughs> yeah, it's overrated. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Well, cool, what man. What else we got? Yeah, what else you got? Oh, yeah. Let us know. I, uh, I found all sorts of things. Samuel knew of, of many different random things. Lots of hoes. I've got hoes. <laughs> um, no, little store the... catches. And in there, I found also, I mean, I've got extra winches. I've got seals, gaskets, chain, hoses, angles, joints, fittings. I, I could name more things. It just sounds like I'm firing shit off now, though. <laughs> found some butyl tape and a bunch of, um, which one was it? I had all sorts of hose clamps and hoses, and I actually had the extra fuel water separator in here that, that they had an excess one and so i just went to what the rain oh my god it was, it was phenomenal i couldn't i couldn't have had that part work out any better for for doing this polishing setup is the guy <laughs> that you bought the uh boat from on board yeah that's samuel oh you haven't thrown him off yet man i'd have wrecked <laughs> that dude had i bought that boat and i yeah, had those man. problems he'd be the first one in the water <laughs> he'd be the first one on the water <laughs> yeah done and done man <laughs> yeah. No man, it's, there's a lot of shit going on around here. There's lots of learning involved in this one, for sure. Yeah, like uh, Publix said, has buy one get one free, like Land tons Shark? of shit. Land Shark, and um, it was like, half their beer was buy one get one free. Wow. Um, all sorts of chips and bagels and cookies and crackers and Pepsi's and snacks. I mean, we we pretty well. Let me see. I'll flip this around. I went through and made sure that we had as much as we could. Cookies. Buy one, get one free. Ahoy. Uh, chips or parm crisps. Uh, buy one, get one free. Got some Red Bull for the late nights. Uh, had to get more storage because we just don't have... I didn't yeah. think ahead to have plastic storage like for the refrigerator or anything. Yeah. The nice um, thing. Lots of stuff here. Oh, What's olives. Up? Oh, yeah. Um, what else? What else? Bagels, crackers, tortillas, buy one, get one free. So I have 40 damn tortillas that we're never going to be able to finish all of. <laughs> well, I think they were buy one, get one free last time. So we have some stored over there still. Um, but yeah, kind of got another load of stuff to keep on keeping on. Well, that, uh, oh, we got Kodiak pancakes. These are... Oh. That's not what I was looking for. Have you guys had the Kodiak pancakes? They're like protein pancakes? No. These things. They're all right. They're protein packed, as they say. Um, they it's look definitely expensive. not a standard pancake. It's like a $10 thing of pancakes? Well, they're not they're regular pancakes. No, very much not so, especially after this. <laughs> <laughs> but um, boom. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Checked everything out, though. We do have about 300 feet of chain. They still have all this extra rope in here. We're just going through system after system, making sure that I'm not going to get caught off guard if, if I can avoid it, you know? You know, oddly enough, Chris, generally speaking, and I'm just saying, usually people do that before casting off. But hey, you know? Well, I did. Good. And I got again. <laughs> I got caught. I got caught. You're okay. fine, man. It happens. <laughs> the cool thing is you're going to be 
really adept at your sailboat by the time you get home. And that's all that matters. It'll be a quick learning. It'll be, you know, trial by fire. Uh, and you'll be good, man. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> it's been, it's been a hell of an adventure. Uh, I mean, I took a part of the whole nav station searching for wiring and anything and everything. I did discover that in the quarter berth here, we've got a break and a release for our wind turbine. And that's why she wasn't spinning. And so today, obviously not right now, um, she was ripping. And pulling yeah. in like 14. Yeah. Um, it was really cool. <laughs> Probably putting in all four third lots. <laughs> did you? <laughs> that's funny, man. You did. <laughs> It's almost right, like right. it's almost like you didn't do a walkthrough before you left the dock. <laughs> I, I have to like redo all of the walkthrough. I've learned so much about it that I, I obviously missed loads. Yeah. Um, and had I had a survey, as some random guy says, you know, uh, I would I would have known a lot more. <laughs> but hey, you're on the water, man. You're sailing, and you will be very adept at your vessel by the time you get home. That's all that matters. Yeah. Indeed. You know, Indeed. No better way to learn than by doing. And the good thing, at least you're on the water doing versus sitting yeah. on the hard. Yeah, and staring at your well, heel. Yeah, because <laughs> sitting on the hard, then you put your boat in the water and you still have to start over. Because now you got to learn how your boat sails. <laughs> so, you know, at least you're on the water. Yeah. Right? Indeed. Indeed. I am on the water. <laughs> we unhooked this morning and got to go spin it around and I was happier than I could, uh, happier than I've been in four days, I guess. <laughs> I'm surprised you guys didn't leave today. Uh, man, I couldn't just rush out like that. We, I had to make sure that we were going to be all right and all set up. It's just hot sitting there in that mooring field, man. I'm getting hot looking at you. <laughs> it's uh, hotter than shit for sure. Know? <laughs> throw the shade and everything here too, and it's torching back there. Yeah, it's <laughs> roasting, dude. You can cook on the uh, hard top, no problem. Probably, dude. <laughs> Over one of the hatches, throw a steak on it. Make some eggs up there, man, or put a frying pan <laughs> up there and then cook in a little bit. It'd be good. Yeah, it goes. Yeah, <laughs> that wouldn't. That, that'd be that'd be some good YouTube footage. You know, cooking eggs on the. Yeah. Hot ass deck. <laughs> yeah, so you want to go to the tropics. <laughs> eh? <laughs> yeah. See what you get. <laughs> All right, oh, cool. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your time, man. I don't want to take up a bunch of your time. I know you've been super, super busy fixing the boat. I'm glad yeah. you got it fixed. Definitely. Uh, Thanks a lot. You know, and that's really all that matters, man. Get that thing yep. fixed. Get rolling. You'll be home. If all goes well, you'll be home a little over two weeks. Yeah, somewhere around if all at least well. 10, 10 days. Oh, God, at least, man. Yeah. At least. <laughs> yeah. You guys got two weeks plus easy. I told you. Yeah. Texas in October. <laughs> Texas in October. <laughs> yeah. And when you come strolling into Texas October 1st, I'm going to be like, I told you so, man. <laughs> told you so. <laughs> I told you so. As right, long cool, as man. I get there before the second. <laughs> exactly, man. You know, get up That's there. That's the birthday. Yeah. I'll uh, celebrate being off the water for a minute. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, cool, man. Well, well thanks yeah, again man. for the time. I appreciate it. I'll probably check in with you tomorrow. Maybe set something up for a live stream. Follow you up the coast a yeah. little bit. You know, since you're going to sure. kind of, you know, I think that's the smarter thing is to head for, you know, your first sail, anyway. Head up state inland a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you know. We could definitely shave time by going Clearwater to Texas. Um, but that's a solid 10 days flat out every minute sailing. That's man um, when sailing, we, bro. Man which sailing. we could if we got the crew for it, for sure. Well, yeah, we got, we got check, somebody quick check, out there that wants to join. You'll have to check on the members area uh, and see yeah. if anybody wants to come join you. Because, like, Father sure. Chuck would, but he's right in the middle of buying a boat. Um, yeah. KB's so yeah, buying yeah. his right now, too. So they're yeah, all organizing so... their own trips. Yeah. Yeah. Could, uh... I'll get on there and talk to him and whatnot, see what's going yeah, on. see who wants to go for a ride. I'm sure somebody does. <laughs> somebody wants to go. I don't know. Someone wants to go to Texas see what's up. 
Uh, well, it was Father Tech that was just talking about they're moving the USS Texas to Galveston right now. Are they? Or they just did. Oh. Yeah, he, he posted a video about it. Or a link to the video. Hmm. Mm hmm. So go check out hmm. a battleship. Well, cool, man. All right, brother. Well, I'll be in touch, man. We'll set something up for tomorrow. See how your sailing goes. And uh, for thanks sure. for the time, my man. I appreciate it. Totally, dude. Thanks for doing the live and course, got an man. update now. So, uh, I'm, you know, I'm in a lot better spirits now, too. That's good. That's <laughs> I good. wasn't You'll in be great fine. condition over the last few days. Nah, man, you're doing great. Don't be too hard on yourself. <laughs> right on. I'll, I'll work on it. <laughs> All right, my man. I'll touch base with you. All right. Take All it right. easy, guys. Later. Later. Alright, something is up with my audio. I have no idea what. Am I still really, really quiet? Because it sounds like trash in my head. How about now? That should be better, right? Should be better now. Probably should have done. Yeah, that, that's why I didn't keep talking to him. It's driving my ADD nuts. You know? Because I have my gain turned up all the way here. And like it's popping in my ears and I was like, what the French toast is going on here? Uh, maybe it was that one. I don't know. It was sounding horrible in my ear. Terrible. You know? Uh, so what's up with everybody? A little beach action? Ah, uh, I don't like that. Uh... Fix this. Yeah, that'll work. Corsica, I don't know what that is. There we go. Oh. Where do you buy the boat? Fort Lauderdale. Am I still super loud? I'm just like cranked here. Am I still super loud? Shouldn't be super loud. Testing. Like every time I end a stream, I open it back up and it defaults to some other wild audio. And then, as you guys see, every time I got to go through nonsense, man. You know? It drives me nuts, man. No, they're out there somewhere, I think. They're gone for the day. Yeah, they were out there earlier. They seem to be gone for the day, though. 
Uh, Storm Beach is to sign up for the newsletter, or read the digital download. Oh, why is my chat working? The... Uh, sometimes. Uh, what? There we go. All right. Sound should be better. Everybody should be better. World should be a great place now. Sorry about that. No jets. Yeah. Uh, did he really save money? Um, I think that there was a bunch of other stuff there. Reasons and things like that. You know. But I don't want to get into uh, why he did, where he did. Ba -dum -bum -ba. My back's killing me, man. Killing me. I got tight rock stars, though. I'm just, you know, as time goes on, I just get madder and madder at YouTube. For this. And what really put me in a bad mood today. I'm trying to use this template for an intro, and it's just not working. I spent like three or four hours earlier, edited four videos. Yeah, so we'll see, man. I got nine days left until I can apply for monetization again. Yeah, YouTube pisses me off. You know, it's irritating, man. I work too hard to deal with that shiitake. You know? And if I have to start a whole new channel, because I feel like not monetizing me, I'm going to be super bummed, man. Yeah. But that's all my complaining for today. That's all I got. Ouch. Who here is good with templates? DaVinci Resolve templates specifically. Anybody? Anybody. My stupid template won't work. It's driving me bonkers. Uh, here we are, though. Nobody? That's unfortunate. That's all we got, huh? That's it? Well then, that's that. Yeah, that's all I got. Watching because posting is work.
Alrighty. Well then, I think I'm gonna call it. I'm uh Yeah. Yeah, pretty over YouTube, man. Not into it. Uh, I'll hang out for a couple more minutes, but then I'm going to call it it's over YouTube, man. Over it. When you consider most channels put out 52 videos in a year, and I put out 352 videos in a year, and here I am getting demonetized when you've got these lame-ass vloggers, they're nonsense, pisses me off. Labor Day plans? No, I don't do nothing but work, man. I don't ever have plans. When's Labor Day? When is that? Is that this weekend or something? What's that? Monday? Wow. Yeah, that's not... I don't think that's a holiday here. <laughs> Uh, like 4th of July is not a thing here. I doubt Labor Day is. Yeah, not a thing here, man. Thanksgiving's not a thing here. Fourth of July is not a thing here. Labor Day, Memorial Day. Uh, you know. Which Benito or Jano was it? The review that doesn't do the bow slapping? I don't know. Not sure, man, because I've done hundreds. Hundreds of them, Randall. So I'm not sure. Yeah, I like the 37. For a budget single helm vessel, the 37 is probably my favorite. Used to be the 36i, but uh, not now. Now it's the 37.
Yeah, I'm not sure, Randall. Uh, I mean, most of them won't, especially not the newer models. They don't slap at the bow. Catamarans will slap. You know? <laughs> Bummer, man. Welcome to... Are you in Puerto Rico? Because it goes out here like every day. Ooh. Uh. Yeah. I can't think of anything I'm... Meh. All right. I'm going to go work on my uh, intro. See if I can get this template to work. Thanks, you guys, for stopping by. I'll probably see you this weekend. I guess. I don't know. I'm just not in the mood today. All right. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for stopping.